Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special unboxing and assembly video. We haven't done one of these in a long time. I have the 1993 Ninja Force Ninja Lightning Motorcycle. This is an open box. It was open when I bought it. Uh, but the contents inside are still sealed in the factory sealed bag. And I am going to do the unthinkable. I am going to open the bag and I'm going to attempt to assemble this vehicle. Other YouTube channels have tried to assemble this vehicle. Sanitarium Productions and G.I. Joburg tried to put this thing together and they both broke it. So. If I can successfully assemble this vehicle without breaking it, I will be the Ninja Lightning World Champion. I guess I would have to find something else to review, but I really want to review this, so let's be very careful and put it together. I have some tools that I may need here to assemble this, so let's take it out of the box first. The box was open when I got it, uh, so let's pull out the factory sealed bag with the contents. That's the whole vehicle there. Uh, looks like the sticker sheet is in there. And then also in the box, there's a catalog, a 1993 catalog. We've seen that before. And then in the bottom, we have the instruction for the assembly. There's the instruction sheet. And on the back of that, the blueprints. So uh, let's follow the instructions carefully and uh, start uh, putting this thing together. First we shall do the unthinkable and cut open this factory sealed bag. You ready? Here it goes. Here it goes. Ooh, puncture. No longer factory sealed. There we go. All right. So let's take this thing out now. Um, we've got some, some uh, parts on the plastic trees there. There is the sticker sheet. Let's see, it looks like, oh, that's kind of stuck in there. It's hooked on something. Oh, I don't want to break it. I'm not going to break it before I even get it out of the bag. There are the wheels, also on a kind of a rubbery tree there. So we'll have to cut those off. And let's see, there's the side-mounted side -mounted missile launcher. And this one is hooked on the main body of the vehicle and I want to try to carefully pull it off but yeah see part of it is <laughs> one of the wheels has already come off of the sprues but um, we have a situation here before you even get it out of the bag like this this piece here is hooked really well hooked on the main body of the motorcycle so let's pull the whole thing out set that aside and carefully, there we go, there we go, got it apart. So there's the main body of the vehicle and uh, wheels, uh, missiles and such, um, side mounted missile launcher, sticker sheet, and tires. So let's see what the instruction sheet tells us to do first. Okay, the first thing we're supposed to do is uh, put these black tires on these green wheels. Um, so I need to, well, this, this almost popped off already. There we go. A little snip, and then I need to remove these. Uh, yeah, they cut off very easily. And I need to see if there's any of the sprue left on them because I need them to roll smoothly. That one looks pretty good. This one has a little bit of the rubbery nib on it, but not anymore. All right, that's perfectly smooth. Um, looks like I should have worn a white shirt instead of a black one, but um, there are the wheels. All right, so the black tires are just supposed to wrap around the green wheels like that. Like that. Went on pretty easily. Make sure that it's on there perfectly. Very good. And let's see. Um, and the tires are marked with like a part number. So I'm trying to keep that on the outside because it looks like it's supposed to be decorative, I think. So uh, I'm putting the plain side on what I believe will be the inside of the wheels. There, that was easy. Um, then we need to go to part, uh, step two, 
uh, purple gear into green wheel axle. The purple gear is here, so let's snip that off. That's that piece right there. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see how many people complain that I've used the X-Acto knife on my table surface. This table surface is just fine. Don't worry, anybody. Okay, so how does it go on? It goes on, looks like this. Goes on like that. Um, now it should go all the way in and I think clip in. There, clips in. And then the other side. It has like a, a little knob, like sort of like a hubcap on the outside. The inside there has a hole that should slide right on there. I say that and then it won't make it easy, will it? Uh, carefully, carefully. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, all right. That was not as hard as I thought it would be. It's a little tight, but it needs to be in order for it to uh, roll properly. Very good, so that was easy. Let's move on to step three. All right, step three is basically to slot the back wheels uh, into this rear fork. And here's where it starts to get a little dangerous because this plastic doesn't have a lot of flex to it. And the little knobs that go into it um, are a bit long, but I think it's gonna make it. I think it's gonna make it. You know what, that is straining that plastic uh, and I, it's making me very nervous. So, ah, we did it. All right, the rear wheels are on and the body did not break. So that's a major hurdle to completing this thing, assembling it without breaking it. Yes, so I can already see that step four involves the front wheel assembly. And this is the trouble spot. This is where other YouTubers have broken it. All right, so we need to pop these uh, two halves of the front wheel off. All right, that one's, there we go. Got a slightly thicker sprue. Uh, oh, one more. And I've noticed something, even though I've just now taken this out of the factory sealed bag and um, I haven't slammed it against anything. I haven't done anything with it. There's a dent in it. Straight out of the factory sealed bag, there's a dent in the front wheel. So we'll just ignore that. Even though it's uh, straight out of the bag, it's not mint, believe it or not. So uh, these two halves go together press them together. That's the front wheel. And this is supposed to go um, on this fork right here. And we're supposed to do it just the same way as we did the back fork. Uh, press that on until it clicks in. However, this is the dangerous spot. And I need this vehicle to review and I'm not gonna take any chances with it. So there is a technique for softening this plastic a little bit so it can be a little easier to assemble. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause for a minute and do this the right way so that I don't break it. This is boiling water. Ingredients include water and fire. The steam from this boiling water should be hot enough to soften the plastic on this front fork. I'm not going to put the vehicle in the water because I don't want to melt the plastic. I just need to soften the plastic enough that this thing will fit on and it'll snap right back into place without any damage to this front fork. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I'm just going to hold it over the uh, steam for a moment, not placing it in the hot water, not in the boiling water, but just close enough to warm this front fork, only the front fork, so that I can try to get this wheel on without snapping some old plastic. Let me test it, see how it feels, not quite there. I don't know if you can see, but those knobs on the wheels are really much too wide. They're much wider than they ought to be for easy assembly. It's about there. It's about there. It's about there. Oh, I think we're going to make it. 
I think we're gonna make it. Ah! Ah! Well, there you have it. The first failed assembly video on this channel. Um, I tried to be cautious with it, but not cautious enough exactly um, because we still broke that front fork. Uh, this is a tough one. Um, the, this front tire is so wide and the knobs that you need to fit in the front fork are so wide that you have to stretch the thing in order to get it on. Um, and there, there are complete and assembled uh, Ninja Lightning motorcycles out there. They're common, they're easy to find. So apparently they were easier to assemble in 1983, but over time this plastic must have grown brittle and it's, uh, you just can't do it. You just can't do it. Um, so let this be a lesson to you, everyone out there. Three different YouTube channels have attempted to assemble the Ninja Lightning motorcycle, and all three have had the same break. So uh, I still need to review the Ninja Lightning, but it won't be this one. So I'll have to find another one, and uh, we will still go forward with the review. But um, maybe not when I intended to do it, but we still will do a review of this thing. Uh, that's a bummer. And uh, I don't really even know what else to say about it. Uh, Ninja Lightning, you have beaten me. Thanks for watching. I hope you had more fun than I did. Uh, I'll see you soon with a vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And uh, only Ninja Force is Ninja Force.